absolute value and piecewise functions. Now let's take a look at some uh, how to write a piecewise function. But before I get there, I think it really helps to understand what it looks like when you graph an absolute value equation. So if I have this equation y equals the absolute value of x minus 4. Now, let's kind of graph what it would look like without the absolute value signs. We end up with a line, we end up with a line that runs like this. And in reality, would actually keep going underneath. But because it's absolute, so I mean, really, that line should just keep on going down like that. But because it's an absolute value, we can't have any negative numbers. There cannot be any negative answers. So what ends up happening, you know, over here, when the y value is negative 4, when the absolute value of that is actually positive 4. So what the line ends up looking like, let's just switch to a different color here, it ends up bouncing right back up again like that. So our piecewise, or sorry, our equation looks like, you know, we've got one piece going down, and then it bounces back up. Because of the way that happens, it's hard to write a single equation. So we actually have to write it in two parts. We're going to write one part that describes that leg of the line, and we do another one that describes that leg of the line. So if I were to write this equation as a piecewise function, what you need to know, there's the one number you really need to have is where does it equal zero? Where is that point where it would cross over and start becoming negative? And there it is right there. And in this case, it becomes negative. Find out where it equals zero. X minus four equals zero. It becomes negative when x equals 4, or starts becoming negative there. So that's an important point. It's an important point because now it sets where our two, our two separate regions we're going to have to deal with. Uh, we got the first region, which starts at negative infinity and goes up to and including 4. We're going to include 4 in this one because that's the part that we don't have to change. But the part that we have to flip over here is moving from 4 and up. This is the normal, and this is the flipped part. Okay. So now let's, uh, let's switch to the next screen and start writing it down as an actual equation. Now the way to write a piecewise equation is like this. We have x minus 4, the absolute value, equals, now we've got two parts. We've got the normal part and the part we flip. Essentially, we put a negative sign in front of it. And it's going to be, so the top one, x minus 4, that's going to be that if if x is an element. Now in that case, we went all the way from negative infinity up to 4. This one, we had to flip it if x was an element of 4 to positive infinity. Now we have two pieces to this equation. And no, notice how I did not close off the brackets. doesn't need to be. It is possible that we have more options than that, but most of the ones that we're going to have to deal with in, in this class may only have two pieces. So the one piece from where x is negative infinity to 4, and the second piece where x is from 4 to infinity. 